Today we are going to be learning about how to differentiate. The National Five Essential Skills are Certs and Indices. Introduction to Differentiation A derivative can be thought of as how much one quantity is changing in response to changes in some other quantity. Differentiation is the process of finding the derivative of a function. We use the derivative when finding the rate of change of a function, for instance the speed of a car, the gradient at a point on a function, the shape and stationary points on a curve. We use two different notations for the derivative. If you are given a function in terms of fx, the derivative is notated as f dash x. However, if you are given a function in terms of y, the derivative is notated as dy by dx. The basic rule for differentiating is, if we have an x to the power of n, you bring the power down in front of x and subtract 1 from the power. The key steps are, simplifying any fractions or certs before we differentiate, bringing the power down in front of x and subtracting 1 from the power. We'll now differentiate the following examples. Example A, if we have fx equals x cubed, to differentiate we need to take this as f dashed x and we bring the number 3 down in front of x and then we would subtract 1 from this power. Final answer is 3x squared. Example B. In this case we have a third which we must remove and change the fractional power before we can differentiate. So we need to initially rewrite the function as x to the power of one third. Differentiating this time we'll notate as dy by dx equals one third, bringing that third down in front of x and the power is one third take away one. One third take away one will give us an answer of negative two over three. You may need to do some fraction work at the side of your page. Please remember you can change the number one to a fraction by making it three over three to get a final answer of a power of negative two over three. We also shouldn't leave our answers with negative indices. Therefore, I can move my x down to the bottom of the fraction to get an answer of 1 over 3x to the power of 2 over 3. We could then also change this back to third form, which is important if we need to insert any values into our derivative. So x to the power of 2 over 3 becomes the cubed root of x squared. Example C fx equals x to the power of 3 over 4. The derivative, bring the 3 over, down, over 4 down in front of x and subtract 1 from the power. 3 over 4 take away 1 will give us an answer of negative a quarter. Not leaving an answer with a negative power, this will then become 3 over 4x to the power of a quarter. And again, you could remove the third if you wanted to and write 3 over 4, 4 through of x. Last example, example D. We need to prepare this first because we have a fraction. We can't differentiate with x on the bottom of a fraction. Using our rules of indices, we'll bring x up and it'll be x to the power of minus 5. Differentiating dy by dx equals negative 5x and the power is negative 5 take away 1. Divide by dx equals negative 5x to the power of negative 6. Again we can rewrite with a positive power negative 5 over x to the power of 6. It is important that before we differentiate all brackets are multiplied out and there are no fractions with an x term in the denominator. For example, as we've seen in example d in the previous slide, 1 over x cubed needs to be written as x to the minus 3. 
And if we have 1 over the square root of x, that needs to be written as x to the power minus a half. If we have a coefficient in front of x, we do the same thing to differentiate. We bring the power down in front of x and the power gets multiplied with the coefficient. We still subtract 1 from the power. This will become clearer when we do some examples. Now we're going to differentiate the following, which have coefficients in front of x. Example e, f of x equals 5x cubed. So differentiating, we bring the 3 down and multiply with 5 to get 15, and subtract 1 from the power to get x squared. Example b, here the coefficient of x is a quarter. So what we need to do is move the quarter out to the front and we have a quarter x to the power of a half. Differentiating dy by dx equals one half times one quarter is one eighth x and then the power is going to be one half take away one. So dy by dx equals one eighth x to the power of minus a half which can be rewritten as 1 over 8 root x. Example C, again we have x in the denominator of a fraction, so we're going to use our rules of indices and bring our x up and rewrite it as x to the power minus 5. dy by dx equals minus 5 multiplied by 3 over 2 will give us an answer of negative 15 over 2. And the power, taking away 1 from minus 5, becomes minus 6. We'll then rewrite with a positive x with a positive index. And dy by dx equals negative 15 over 2x to the power of 6. Example d. This time we have 2x terms. We just treat these individually and differentiate them individually. So f dashed x becomes 3 times 3 is 9, so 9x squared plus 5x as a power of 1. So bring the 1 down, multiply by 5, 5x to the power of 0. Remember, anything to the power of 0 is equal to the number 1. Therefore, the derivative is 9x squared plus 5. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers. A. dy by dx is equal to negative 6 over x to the power of 4. For b, dy by dx equals negative 3 over 4 root x cubed. And c, dy by dx equals 8x cubed minus 12x squared plus 6x plus 6. For extra practice, please try page 94, exercise 6f, questions 1 to 27, and remember to self-assess your progress. What have we have introduced differentiation. The key steps for differentiating are simplifying fractions and thirds, bringing the power down in front of x, and then subtracting 1 from our power.